Hi there. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to take multiple geo points within the same questionnaire. So we've already gone over in other videos. How do you take a geo point or a geo trace or a geo shape? In this video, I'm going to show you how to take multiple geo points. Say if you wanted to take a bunch of different points on a single farm or a bunch of different points in a single village. So what you're going to start off doing is you're going to make a geo point question type and then you'll name it. So we'll call this geo point one. Uh, oops, geo point one, and then you'll give it a label. So take GPS point, for example. And then you'll follow that up maybe with a text question that says geo point one um, name or text. Let's say geo point one text. Yeah. And then say, uh, Please name this GPS point. Now, if we want those two questions to appear together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a begin group and an end group around those two questions. I'm going to give the group a name. So I'm going to pull this geo point one group. Uh, so uh, GPS point one. And it's going to be my label and my appearance is going to be a field list. So they'll show up on the same page of the GPS point and the name of that GPS point. OK, so that is my basic um, setup as to how uh, I want uh, to collect one GPS point. Now, if I want to take a second GPS point, I'm just going to copy that set of questions, that group. I'm going to paste it again and I'm going to call it uh, GPS point two okay gps point two and we're going to call this geo point two and geo point two text okay so we've changed this now to a second point but we only want this to appear if um they take a first G gps point so if they don't take a gps point um, number one it means they probably don't want to take a number two okay so we're only going to make this group of questions required or relevant when geo point one is not equal to blank. Okay, so that will be irrelevant. So that means this question or this group of questions won't appear until we take a first geo point and then the next group of questions will appear. And then you can repeat this as many times as you want. So you can paste that again. We're gonna make a geo point three GPS point Three. We're going to make this called geo point three and this geo point three text. Okay. And then we're going to say this only appears if geo point two isn't blank. Okay. So then they'll just come up and you can keep copying and pasting that as many times as possible. You're going to um, save this. So let's uh, save it. Uh, we're going to save that. And then you're going to go into your Kobo toolbox uh, form. Okay, so we'll say new project in our Kobo toolbox, upload an XLS form. We're going to grab that form that we just created. We're going to call this, we're going to call this collect three GPS points, create the project. And then we will just preview that. So you'll see in Kobo toolbox, you can only see one group of questions. So just GPS point one. Okay. And I'm going to just click somewhere in the world to take a GPS point and you'll see it's automatically brought up GPS point number two because uh, we've now collected number one and I'll collect another GPS point there. And now it's brought up number three as well. So we can collect a third point and then validate and the form is valid. So that's what it looks like within Kobo toolbox. And that is one way that you can collect multiple geo points uh, within the same form. Now you could also use a repeat question and define how many uh, points you want to take, but I'll make a second video for that. So hope that's helpful. Bye.